Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. My name is Karen Koch. I am a mixed media artist here in Hudson, Ohio. And we're here at my studio, which is at Uncommon Art, which is um, on Main Street in Hudson. And I'm here today to show you some gifty items. You know, if you need hostess gifts or gifts for family and friends over the holidays, I have a whole collection of things I'm going to show you. Now, obviously I'm a, an artist, so I do large artwork. And if you're looking for a big, you know, uh, sentimental gift or a statement gift or something for the holidays, I can help you with that. You're welcome to come to my studio and we can look at some of the different options I have for you. But for this video, I'm focusing on the smaller, um, more affordable items. So I have a lot of things. In fact, everything I've pulled out to show you today is under $50 and a good selection of it is between $15 and $25. So hopefully that helps with uh, your budget and with gift giving this season. So in addition to the large artwork, and this is some of my artwork on the wall here, I also do hand painted scarves and I love them. They are, for the most part, they're silk and I hand paint each one of them one at a time, kind of like a watercolor painting. So things like the, the infinity scarf that is on my mannequin over here. They come in as an assortment of sizes. These are, you know, the regular rectangle sized scarf, the traditional scarf, you know, that uh, these are really versatile for doing all the different tying techniques. Um, this is another one in red and black. That's a really beautiful one for this time of year. I also have some smaller rectangles, which are shorter and narrower than the traditional ones. And these are good if you don't like a lot of scarf up around your neck. And then new for this year are the little small square scarves. And I've been making a lot of these this year. They've been great gift items. These are a small square uh, with kind of like the one I have on. And I've been wearing them all summer. These are really versatile. You know, you can wear it around your neck if you want just a little bit of color. Wear it in your hair like a headband or around a ponytail. I have this one kind of rolled up with the the knot on the side just to make it a little jaunty um, or you can wear them you know this way like a western style scarf uh, see, or with the point in the back and the ends in the front so lots of different options on that one and then brand new for this year or for the fall I guess I have just introduced a line of scarves that I call my glass half full collection and these are, they're the same size as the little ones, but these I've painted in the colors of wine. So if you know me, I, you know, I'm a wine girl. I like my glass of wine now and again. And if you have friends who like an occasional glass of wine, this is something to take a look at. So I have painted these, I have two reds and two whites. This is, no, the Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a beautiful, deep, rich, red burgundy color, kind of in the colors of a traditional glass of Cabernet. So every time I paint one of these scarves, they come out a little bit differently. So some have a little bit more white, some have a little bit less white. This particular one in my hand has a little bit of white on it, uh, just which helps the colors kind of pop. Uh, the other one, I have a pink, I have a rosé. How pretty is that? Doesn't that look just like a glass of rosé? Just the colors you'd find, that blush pink with little bits of apricot and coral. Just so pretty. Each one of these scarves comes with a little card that talks about that glass half full collection and um, what type of wine it is. So whoever you decide to give it to will know exactly what it is. And all the scarves I make are washable. They've all been washed a couple of times during the process of painting them. Um, you can hand wash them, you know, let them line dry, but they're, they're good, easy to care for. So then we get into the whites and this is the Riesling. And you know, Riesling is a real bright, light, crisp glass of wine. It's a very pale straw color with maybe just a little bit of 
green sometimes, apple green. So that's what these are. Isn't that pretty? Oh, colors just are so neat. Um, and then this, of course, is my Chardonnay because I do like a good glass of Chardonnay. But Chardonnay is rich and golden and buttery, and those are the colors that I've chosen for this scarf. So they are in sort of limited supply. There's about maybe three or four of each. So make sure that you don't miss out on those if that's something you want. I do pack them all up nicely in tissue paper and in a cellophane bag, and they're all wrapped and they come with, like I said, the the card that describes the glass half full collection and they also come with the care instructions too. So um, that's the scarf collection. Um, we mentioned some of the large, large artwork. I'm going to actually move the camera now and go over to the table and show you some of the smaller pieces, the prints and the Akron items, the Hudson items. Okay, so these are some of the smaller items I've pulled out as good gift items. Now, of course, I have a couple of Akron items. This is a print of a painting I did of the Civic Theater sign. This one and the downtown Akron scene were both things that I did while I was sitting on the sidewalk in Akron. So I had my trusty little folding chair and my notebook and my paints and I was um, sitting there on a summer day sketching the downtown Akron scenes. I go to Akron quite a bit and do sketching but those I've pulled out. I've, I think they're really nice prints. So there are some physical prints in my shop. If you're looking at any of these items I do have an Etsy shop as well. The Etsy shop is lifeneedsart.etsy.com and life needs art is all one word. Um, I have a couple of those in my shop as physical prints that I can pack up and mail to you. And they're also available as a digital download. So if you're in a hurry, you need a last minute gift, you can just download it, take it to the copy shop, have them print it on a nice paper and pop it in a, a frame. Those are eight by 10, so they go in a standard frame. So another item that has been a really popular gift item already this year have been greeting cards. You know, with everybody staying at home and needing to keep in touch with family and friends, they're sending a lot of notes and letters. And I do sets of greeting cards. Each pack has four cards. Um, each card in the pack has a different design and that's what the front of the pack shows are the four different choices in there. Uh, the designs are printed in full in full color on the front of the card and the cards are blank inside and they have white envelopes to go with them so i have the set this set which is ginkgo leaves i have some that are flowers florals which are really pretty i have a set of trees and some abstracts and some others so those are a very nice little stocking stuffer small gift for folks who you don't know what to get and along those lines, there are the little teeny weeny art blocks. These are so cute. They're about two inches by three inches. They're little tiny original artworks on the block. It's a little wooden block that I've painted copper colored. And a lot of these, again, use the same sorts of things. They use um, old book pages or vintage papers, colorful papers, um, but they're really very sweet. I think these would be a terrific little stocking stuffer. And then lastly, I have some Hudson specific items. So, you know, if you know Hudson, you know we love our clock tower. So I've done a whole series of artwork about the clock tower and the style of famous artists. So imagine Picasso or Monet or Andy Warhol had come to Hudson and was so enamored of the clock tower that they just had to paint it. What would a cubist clock tower look like? Or Here's a, a Van Gogh style clock tower. Um, there's a Mondrian modern one. I've done a whole series of these. I've got about, oh gosh, 20 or so of them up in my shop. And then as well, I do have little Christmas ornaments with the mouse looking up at the clock tower because we do put a mouse on our clock tower every Christmas. So, and those are really cute. So thanks for watching today. I appreciate you stopping by. These are the items that I've pulled out as possibly good gift ideas for the holidays. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to reach out to me, either through Facebook or through my Etsy shop. 
And again, my Etsy shop is life means art .etsy.com. And you are always welcome to come in and visit me at my studio. And I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and Christmas and see you soon. Thanks.